Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. Let's get started. All right, let's get right into our first example. Solve x minus 2.7 is less than negative 5 and graph the solution. So first, uh, when you're solving inequalities, it's just like solving an equation. The only difference is uh, you've got this inequality symbol instead of an equal sign, but you go about it the same way. You try to get the variable alone on one side and then whatever value on the other side. Okay, so uh, if you see we've got x minus 2.7 is less than negative 5. Again, my goal, I'm trying to get this variable x alone. So I'm going to concentrate over here. I've got x minus 2.7. So to get rid of the 2.7, this minus 2.7, I'm going to add 2.7. I do the opposite. If I add 2.7 to this side, I do the same here. Plus 2.7. Well, those are going to cancel out. I have x, bring down to less than, is less than negative 5 plus 2.7. I've got a negative and a positive, so something's canceling out. 2.7 is canceling out. I've got 2.3, and because the negative 5, the absolute value of it is greater, that means that's going to be negative. Uh, so this is my solution. x is less than negative 2.3. If I want to check that, all I have to do is pick a number for x that's less than negative 2.3 and substitute it in. So maybe I'll say, okay, well, what if x is negative 3? Negative 3 is less than negative 2.3. So if I substitute that in for my check, I would have negative 3 minus 2.7. And the question is that, this is our check, less than negative 5. Well, negative 3 minus uh, 2.7 is negative 5.7, which in fact is less than negative 5. It's farther to the left on the number line, uh, farther negative, so it is less than negative 5, uh, which means that's great. We're good. Now, my second part, I have to graph that solution. So that's pretty simple. Start off with a number line. And I don't really mind. It doesn't have to be super fancy. Uh, x is less than negative 2.3. I'm going to put a, a 0 here. Negative 2.3 is going to be down here. Let's say it's there. Negative 2.3. I'm not really concerned with a whole bunch of, of marks and numbers laid out. I just I like to put the 0 there and negative 2.3. Now, what I do need to look at is the symbol. That's less than, which means it does not include negative 2.3. So on my graph, I need to put an open circle, open dot. That means it does not include negative 2.3. So that's really important. If it was less than or equal to, then it would. Uh, and x is less than that, so I'm going to draw my arrow going to the left, less than. Here's some to try on your own. Example 2. Solve 13 is less than or equal to x plus 14, and then graph the solution. So same thing, I'm going to try to get the variable alone. 13 is less than or equal to x plus 14. So I'm looking over here. That's where I'm concentrating. x is, uh, is not alone. We're adding 14 to it. So to get rid of that plus 14, I do the opposite. I subtract 14. Right? Anything I do to one side, I do to the other. Minus 14 here. That goes away. I'm left with x alone, which is my goal. On the right, I still have uh, the less than or equal to, and 13 minus 14 would give me negative 1. Now to check, all I have to do again, 
is if I'm saying x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 1, just pick a number in that solution. Uh, let's say, well, 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. So let's check 0. So my question is, is 0 plus 14 going to be greater than or equal to 13? Or, again, is 13 less than or equal to 14? Yes, of course it is. So that works for my uh, solution. So now I'm going to go and draw my number line. Got the solution. So same thing. Doesn't have to be super fancy. Uh, I'll start with a zero there. X at negative one. Now here you got to be careful. Uh, it's less than or equal to. So that's going to be a closed dot. And now this might be a little bit tricky because you're thinking, okay, now all of a sudden the variables on the right side, I've got negative one is less than or equal to x, which means if I if I want to rewrite it, I can. If I read it from right to left, which is kind of you typically read the variable first, that would be x is greater than or equal to negative one. And that might be a little bit easier for when you need to graph. These are the same. So feel free to write it either way. Uh, and if you want to rewrite it like that, then that might help you uh, when you're graphing. So x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Here's negative 1. It's or equal to, so close dot. Greater than or equal to, so I'm going up and to the right. Okay, here's some more to try on your own. All right, here's our last example. A person can be no taller than 6.25 feet to become an astronaut for NASA. I guess you got to be able to fit inside the, the space shuttle. Uh, your friend is 5 foot 9 inches tall. Write and solve an inequality that represents how much your friend can still grow, can still grow and, and become an astronaut. Um, so looking at this word problem, if you want to pause it and see if you can figure this out yourself, go for it. Uh, first, we're going to look for some kind of key words. Uh, hopefully you notice a person can be no taller than. Well, that's very important. That's kind of why we're going to be writing an inequality and not an equation. Uh, 6.25 feet is important to become an astronaut for NASA. Your friend is 5 foot 9 inches tall. That's important. Uh, and then obviously we got to write and solve our inequalities. Uh, first, hopefully you notice We've got 6.25 feet, and then we've got 5 feet 9 inches. This is written in just feet with a decimal. This is with feet in inches. So that's a problem right off the bat. I need to make this look like that. So I need 5 feet 9 inches as a decimal in just feet. So the question is, well, 9 inches is how much of a foot? 9 inches is 9 out of 12, right? because there's 12 inches in a foot, uh, if I simplify that, that's going to be 3 fourths. And 3 fourths, as a decimal, hopefully you know that, is 0 0.75. So that helps. 5 feet 9 inches tall would then be equal to 5.75 feet. Okay, so that's nice. Now we've got two decimals. Uh, the units we're using is just feet. Now I need to write and solve my inequality. Well, what is going to be my variable, right? I'm making this inequality. I'm going to have a variable. Write and solve an inequality that represents how much your friend can still grow. That is what we don't know. And usually, in these word problems, when there's something you don't know and you have to write an expression or an equation, or in this case, an inequality, whatever that thing you don't know is, that usually is going to be your variable. So how much your friend can still grow? Let's call that, uh, how about G for grow? Okay, so that's going to be represented by G. Um, this is where our friend is starting at. So 5.75. 
how much they can still grow, we would add that. So plus G, that's what we decided, what we're going to call how much you can still grow. 5.75 plus G, now 6.25 feet, you can't be taller than that. No taller than. Can you be 6.25 feet? Yeah, you can be that or less. That's the maximum. No taller than that. So how would I write that? Uh, what symbol, what inequality symbol would I use? Well, I can't be taller than that. That's the max, so I have to be that or less. So that's going to be less than or equal to 6.25. So again, this is how tall my friend is right now. How much he can grow is plus G, right? If he grew an inch, uh, he would be... 6.75, which is too tall, right? So he can't do that. Um, but he has to be less than or equal to 6.25. That's the max. He can't be more than that. So there's my inequality. I did the first part, right? And inequality, now I need to solve it. Well, to solve, we know how to do this. I want to get the variable alone. Right now I have this uh, positive 5.75. So to solve it, I'm going to subtract minus 5.75 to both sides and that's going to cancel out. I'm going to be left with G is less than or equal to hopefully, oh you can't see that. Let me write it over here. So I'm going to get G is less than or equal to uh, 5.75 Two, sorry, 6.25 minus 5.75. When I do that subtraction, uh, I'm going to get 0 0.5. So in words, what we would say is your friend can grow no more than 0 0.5 feet. Or if we want to write that in inches or 6 inches. Fred can't grow more than six inches and still be an astronaut. Here's some more to try on your own. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.